Hello, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Today we will go over how to show another user's mailbox contacts under your address book. Uh, normally, if you have another user's mailbox open in your Outlook, you will not see their contacts when you click on the To field uh, and when you go to create an email or when you click on the address book. And as you can see here, the Outlook ad address book tab is missing, so you cannot enable that. This has been an issue with Outlook for several versions now. So today we'll go over how to show it right in this area right here. As you can see, there is no PCSN contacts. So the first thing you want to do is proceed at your own risk. Second thing you need to do is go into the control panel and go into your mail settings. Show the profile. You should only have one profile. Go into properties and then change the name from your name to the other mailbox whose address book you want to show. So simply in this case change it to PCSN contacts and hit finish. Now since you already have access to the other mailbox it should not give you any error or any issue, uh, prompt any uh, credential information. It should just open up that mailbox. Since this is the first time I'm opening that mailbox, it can take some time. And now that it is open, we're going to go into Contacts, right-click it, go to Properties. And now uh, it's just like it was our mailbox, so it's going to show us the Outlook Address Book tab. So now we simply go into the Outlook Address Book tab and enable it to show as a contact. Now, keep in mind, we do not want to leave the default name of contacts in there. We want to change it because your original mailbox is going to be contacts so this one we will just call it PCSN contacts simply close out go back to mail go back to show profiles and this time we will change the mailbox name back to the uh, original name and if you get this you can either hit use temporary or use old data does not matter which one you choose because we're not going to let it sync fully anyway. So here we just change that name back to the actual name of the user. And one thing we want to do is we want to go to more settings and make sure we add the other user whose contacts we want to show in that. Now since we have not checked the name, in other words connected to the server, it's not going to let us add the other mailbox. So we have to check name first and then we go in, go into advanced and add, in this case, PCSN contacts. That's the other mailbox. And hit OK. And OK all the way back. And close out. So now when we go into Outlook, we will see two different contacts. Uh, and, well, in addition to our primary contact, we will see one additional contact folder which is going to be PCSN contacts in this case. So this way you can add other mailboxes contacts to your mailbox, to your address book. So when you click in the to field of an email you can select those contacts from there. And it's going to take a while again since it's going to do the initial sync. So this can be really helpful, especially if you have hosted exchange where the hosting company does not offer public folders and you don't have the option to create public folders. So in this way you can actually migrate your content from public folders to another mailbox and then add those contacts to show in your address book or when you hit the to option in your mailbox. So it's kind of a workaround. Uh, instead of having public folders, you can have other 
mailboxes open as contacts. So now in this case we go back to address book, we click down and then we have the new folder in there called PCSN contacts that's actually pulling the information from the other mailbox. And same thing in the to field, we see all these other contacts from the other mailbox.